Well, it is a hot and humid day here across Western Mass, but the first alert weather day is for a low risk for a strong to severe thunderstorm a little bit later on tonight. Not typical timing. Uh, it looks like the first round of storms may not even come in until near or after sunset. Right now we have some patchy clouds, but nothing really developing at the moment. Temperatures up to 90 degrees, but I think we were actually at 91 uh, an hour or two ago. Then some cloud cover developed and temperatures dropped a little bit. A lot of heat up and down the east coast. You can see cooler weather off to our west, and that is going to be behind the cold front that's headed our way. We also have some higher dew points up and down the eastern coast, especially out toward the coastline. For western mass, dew points have climbed back into the middle 60s. So certainly more humid out there today. It pulls that feels like temperature up by a few degrees, about three to five degrees hotter than it actually is. Uh, so, you know, that is just going to be for today. Once this cold front comes through, we're going to go back to seasonable temperatures starting tomorrow. Now, with this cold front, there is the chance for a strong to severe thunderstorm. If anything pops up the rest of the afternoon and evening, that could potentially become severe. And then as this batch of wet weather approaches, we could get a severe storm there too. High wind is the main concern, so damaging wind gusts of 40 to 60 miles an hour. Potential for heavy rain leading to some localized flooding and then there's really not much if any tornado or hail, hail risk today. A quick spin up tornado can't be ruled out, but that probability is a little bit higher down toward the Hudson Valley parts of northern Pennsylvania. Right now we're seeing a couple of flash flood warnings right along the New York Pennsylvania border. This is the batch of rain we're tracking for tonight. That's the main event out ahead of it. There are a couple of pop ups out here in eastern Pennsylvania, but we're not seeing anything really in western mass. There was one little shower that cropped up, kind of fizzled out as it made its way through Worcester County. Uh, just some patchy clouds that are now giving way to more sunshine. So we have a lot of instability out there in the atmosphere. Again, if anything can crop up, there is a chance it becomes severe, but certainly not a guarantee. Shower and thunderstorm chances increasing as we head through tonight. This is from 9 p.m. on. We've got some rounds of rain that could be heavy at times, some embedded thunder. Doubtful will have anything severe during the overnight hours, but we're still dealing with showers through almost sunrise Thursday morning. Then once the cold front moves through, the rain tapers off. Skies will start to clear from west to east. Temperatures are going to start climbing back through the 70s and even into the lower 80s. Might be a stray shower north of Route 2 in the afternoon, but most of us should keep dry conditions. Humidity will gradually drop throughout the day. It'll be a little bit breezy from time to time with wind shifting back to the west northwest. So rain overnight again, possibly heavy, a few rumbles of thunder. Then tomorrow highs return to the lower 80s will turn mostly sunny, breezy. Humidity is still moderate in the morning, but then should start dropping off as the day goes on. Refreshing for Friday. I mean, that is a gorgeous dew point. 48 degrees is very pleasant, very refreshing, but it's only a day. Then dew points shoot back up again, especially on Sunday, which continues to show really intense humidity across the area. So our next weather maker comes in for this weekend. It's looking like our first round of showers will arrive Saturday evening into Saturday night, some thunderstorms possible, and then we'll have scattered showers and storms kind of off and on throughout the day on Sunday. So it is going to be an unsettled weekend for us, very humid, especially on Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, we go back to drier conditions, highs in the lower 80s, so more seasonable. Then we start turning hotter and more humid Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so we could be talking about a few pop-up showers and storms, something to watch for the 4th of July festivities. Abby, back to you.